and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got, I believe, maybe like Zero Chill Part 2 is what I'm going to call it. There is a bunch of new Zero Chill content. They announced a Walter Payton, a bunch of new cards. I saw quite a few things. A lot of high overall cards, too. So I'm backing out and backing back in. Backing out, coming back in so I can see all the new stuff. Pretty excited for all the new stuff I just saw. It's supposed to be coming out today. So we got to find it first because obviously there's a bunch of new stuff. Now, first, let's announce the winner for yesterday's giveaway. That is Sterling Williams. Comment down below the secret word. He did all the requirements. You won it. Now, all you got to do to claim your reward is go over to Twitter, DM me on Twitter, and we will follow through with that whole process. And if I don't answer right away, I'm sorry. I have a lot of DMs, but I will get to it at some point today. I have to know all my videos and stuff. So just hit me up. And also, to enter today's 25 Days of Pugmas, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word, and your console that you hear throughout the video. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. Thank you guys for all the support on the 25 Days of Pugmas. Now let's get into the video. So, Zero Chill Part 2. We got a ton of things to go over. Let's see. Is there anything new in objectives here? Let's go to the solo challenge. It's always a great place to start. There should be something new there. Zero Chill. Is this new? Opposition training camp? Probably not. I don't know. I don't really follow the solos too much, but let's see how many stars we're up to. Let's see. So, we got... 66 stars we got 100 stars and we got 70 stars so we're at like 230 stars so we're halfway through so as far as milestones go we can get upwards to about tier 13 tier 12 somewhere between there somewhere around there depending it might be a little over 230 but you get the point so you can get up to about gingerbread man and almost at 100 kindling so you're getting closer you're almost halfway to the total of what you potentially get now as you guys know it is monday so the house rules did change they did announce that so i'm gonna go check that out real quick to show you that House rules was supposed to update as of Monday, and it continues over. Don't worry, the rewards still stay and continue over, but I believe the requirements of how you play it changes. So, no, it still looks like it's Snowball Fight. That's not right. I was supposed to change today. Monday at 10 a.m. It's supposed to refresh. Today's Monday at 10 a.m., right? All right. Am I surprised? Not in the slightest bit. Now, let's go check out the sets and see what we got going there, because we're supposed to have a bunch of new stuff. So, let's head on over to sets, and let's see what we got so far. It's taking a little bit to zero chill. All right, so we found it, the Zero Chill Master, Walter Payne. He's a halfback. He's not even a quarterback, which is very concerning because I thought he was going to be a quarterback. And I just put a Mon Green. I, this, watch this Walter Payne be better than my Mon Green. That's going to be upsetting. Let's see, what, let's see what we can get from him. We got Jason Kelsey, Marcus Peters, and Cameron Hayward as the top pieces for this set. Let's click into Jason Kelsey. Is he up on the block yet? No, he's not. Marcus Peters. They're probably not going to be on the block yet. So, going to have to give that a few minutes more than likely. Oh, Marcus Peters up. Let's see his stats. So, 93 overall Marcus Peters. 90 speed, 90 excel, 91 agility, 89 jumping, 92 play rec, 93 man, 84 zone, and 87 press. Now, on a Ravens theme team, he cannot be powered up, which does hurt his ability to be really good in the theme team. He'll still be good on the theme team, but he cannot get all the abilities and stuff. Now, Ravens theme team already has Rob Woodson, Deion Sanders, Marlon Humphrey. So, Marcus Peters isn't really a necessity. Probably can't even really be used. He's an okay card. His zone's too low. His press is too low. Yeah, I'm not a big, I'm not a huge fan of this Marcus Peters card. His catch is probably really good though. 82 catching, yeah, that's great. But I really don't think this card's all that great. Let's see his elusiveness and ball carrier vision and stuff because he definitely has that. Oh, he does not. He's, he gets a lot of pick sixes, so I assumed he would have had that, but I guess not. Marcus Peters, decent at best. Not the biggest fan of this card, to be completely honest with you guys. Do not recommend this one. Now, I feel like this Walter Payton's going to be really good. That's kind of going to suck because I was not anticipating that. And I just powered up him on green. Oh, you can only select back to one of them, Nat. They're changing it up. Is that, the, is that the case for all of them? Let's see. Wait, Cameron Hayward, 209K. Pretty cheap right oh, Really cheap right He's a 92 overall, though, so that makes sense. Let's see. 71 speed, 79 excel. Decent. 92 strength is solid. 91 tackles is amazing. 96 play rex amazing. 90 block shots amazing. 92 play hour moves amazing. And 68 finesse moves. This card is amazing. This card is a really, really good right end. Compared to my Aaron Donald, he stacks up pretty nicely. Athleticism is a little bit low on him. But the tackle's great, the play rec's similar, the block shit's similar, the power move's similar, the finesse move sucks. On a Steelers theme team, he's going to be great. On a regular team, he's going to be great. And he can be powered up, which is awesome. Now, you only get back one of the required play. You will be able to select one of the required players to get back as Nat. Now, that's weird. So, is this the same way? Did they change that? You can only get one of the players Nat. You know, I probably knew that. But I, ju I just realized it now. All right. Well, good thing I didn't make a video on that because that would suck. Now, I got back to Walter Payton. So, 
Jason Kelsey's the final card. Hopefully, he's up right about now. There we go. Jason Kelsey, 94 overall center. He has 84 strength, 96 awareness. Solid stats. 87 pass block, 83 pass block power, 90 pass block finesse. Now, that's the only thing about Kelsey cards. His pass block is not never like amazing. It's always going to be like average. Now, his run blocking is where he stands out. 97 run block. 94 run block power 96 run block finesse his run blocking stats are phenomenal you run inside zone or anything with him he's gonna be crazy he has 80 73 speed 82 excel great athleticism let's see what his lead block and impact blocking is that's definitely important 89 impact blocking is decent how about his lead block that's probably really good typically when you're a run blocker you got that 93 lead block yeah this card's pretty pretty amazing compared to my travis frederick i mean honestly i think frederick's more well-rounded which is why i probably stick with him he has better pass blocking I mean, powered up and everything. Like they're, they're similar. They're both more run style oriented with it, but I think Frederick's a little bit better pass blocker. So it's all up to you. I kind of like having the extra pass blocking. Definitely good for me, considering sometimes when your center can't pass block well, he lets up a lot of guys. He has to like get a double team for him to help him, and a guy slides down the sack. So it all really depends. Now let's go find this Walter Payton. All right, so let's head on over to the auction box to go find Walter Payton. I'm really curious to see his stats, guys, because this card could be really really good like it, it has that potential and i'll be sad that i just picked up this amon green if walter payton's better now again i maybe doesn't get all the bruising stats and there we go 95 overall halfback walter payton he goes for 1.5 million coins i did not imagine he stays that way oh god he's that guy good word for today's video is dion comment down below dion like the video subscribe to the channel and comment down below your content once you do all those things you're interested to win good luck oh god he's amazing He's freaking amazing. Okay, let's see. The speed and Excel are identical. Agility is better. Carrying is slightly better. Catching is worse. Elusiveness is better. And break tackle is better. Now, what's his what's his strength? 83, 85. Amon Green and Walter Payton are like identical. Acceleration. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Carrying he's definitely better in. Jumping doesn't really matter to me. Trucking. Amon Green is better. Now, elusiveness goes to walter payton stiff arm goes to walter payton spin and juke go to walter payton total now here's the thing the difference is walter payton won't be able to get the power back stuff because the stiff arm has to be a 95 with the with the evasive uh archetype he has it has to be a 95 and his trucking also has to be like a 95 or break tackle so i don't know I guess we're gonna have to find out if Walter Payton can get the bruising back type stuff. He's gonna be probably the best running back in the game. Right, right there, Walter Payton. Now, if not, Amon Green could be better than him because Amon Green gets the jukebox and the power back stuff. Um, uh, Walter Payton will not, but Walter Payton powered up is gonna be 96 overall. He's gonna be freaking crazy. Gonna be one of the best running backs in Madden. Wow. If he, if he gets down to a certain price, I might have to actually scoop that up. That Walter Payton looks phenomenal. He looks really, really, really good. Now, let's go check out whatever else might have come out. I know there's supposed to be some lower pieces. I don't really know where we're going to find those, though. So, let's go over to the auction block and go check all those out because there should be new stuff. There's supposed to be, like, lower set pieces. Let's go to Zero Chill. Nothing new here, right? Zero Chill. Let's see what came out. Let's go down. Let's check this all out. I mean, there's supposed to be quite a few things. I wish there was a better way to filter this because I don't really know what might have come out until we actually see it. And these cards really aren't going to be that great. These kind of just filler cards for the lower end pieces. I believe they're supposed to be a Dwayne Haskins somewhere, but I'm not really finding them. Uh, Ch Chidobe Awuzi is definitely one of the new ones. I know that for a fact. He should have really good speed. 87 speed. Uh, not, not that great. Now, let's see where. There should be a Haskins somewhere. Oh, Gardner Minshew is one of the new ones. Gardner Minshew, 75 speed. All low 80 throwing stats. Nothing too great there. I'm not probably going to go over many of these cards. So they're not going to be that great. They're just not going to be. They're kind of just filler cards for the zero chill. And a lot of them won't be able to be powered up anyway, so not going to make that big of an impact. I want to find this Haskins, though. Let's head on over to the store, because I believe there should be a brand new bundle out from what I saw over on Mutt Leaks. And there we go, the 24 times Christmas pack. This pack looks really cool. Like, I don't know if it's going to be great, but the pack color looks really cool. So let's see, it contains 24 Christmas packs and a guaranteed large gift topper. So let's see what the contents of a Christmas pack is. It contains five Christmas packs, yeah. Really? Here we go. Contains a small, small or better gift. So every pack contains a gift. So it's a pretty decent reroll gift thing if you're going to be buying packs. Contains a 78 plus zero chill gold or better player, a 69 plus. Gift odds 85% of a small. So more than likely going to pull a small. There's a 12% for a medium and a 3% of large. So the large odds are very, very, very low. 89 pluses are only 4.3. That also seems very low. Let's see what it is here. Yeah, I mean, wow. What is that? What does that say? An 85 plus is what? An 89 plus is a 4.3. So guys, here, here's the deal with these packs. 
The odds of pulling, if you're going to pull for players, do not open these packs. These packs are horrible if you're going to pull for players. A 4.3% chance of getting anything above an 89. This one is a 3.3 for getting a 93 or plus. So almost the same thing to get a 93 plus. A 14% to get above a 91. Great odds out of these packs. Do not pull these packs for uh, cards. These packs are strictly just for presents more than likely. Could you hit big? Yes. But more than likely, that's not what you're going to be aiming for. And if you come up to zero chill, nothing much here, I do not believe. Although they did introduce the new packs. So that's about it, guys. Pretty much wraps up this video. Overall consensus, Walter Payton. Looking like a beast. Walter Payton's definitely going to be a beast. A few other guys. Looking pretty beastly. The set pieces, Jason Kelsey, looking pretty good. Other than that, though, pretty good content overall. Hope you guys did enjoy. Remember, it is the 25 Days of Poop Miss. All you get to enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your console and the secret word you heard throughout the video. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. Thank you guys for watching. And the giveaway winner, make sure to hit me up on Twitter. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.